cute. Oh, yeah. Oh God, no. This is gonna be a long one. Hi, my name is Jade. Welcome to my video. Today I have my Feed Your Local Street Cats top and my energy drink because I think I'll need it. But I'm sure you know what TikTok is if you've clicked on this video, but I myself have definitely been accused of being a TikTok vet more than once. So today I'm going to try not to get too emotional over anything. I'm going to look through some TikToks under the rabbit tag and see what I can find. Hopefully we're going to find a lot of nice fun cute videos but what I'm expecting is some not so great care cages maybe which you know of course we do not approve of small cages for rabbits and who knows we'll just see so let's get right into the TikToks so how I plan on doing this I have my phone here I'm gonna look up the TikToks I'm screen recording and I'll hopefully get it all up here so you can see exactly what I'm seeing I have an earphone in because of course TikTok has a lot of copyrighted music and in the miracle that I ever get paid for making videos then that will get rid of that problem. But so I'm just going to start by typing in rabbit and let's see what comes up. Oh no. Oh my god what is that? Okay I'm not even going to show that video but it's clearly some sort of a breeder looks like for meat rabbits or something and they're artificially inseminating a rabbit uh, just no that looks absolutely horrible okay off to a horrible start that's the very first thing that came up whenever i typed in rabbit let's hope it gets better let's see this one this one looks nice Well, that one was lovely. Oh, it's such a cute little bunny, he's so tiny. But, yeah, so, thankfully there are some nice ones in here. But, um, yeah, I can imagine it's probably time for his breakfast or for some of his snacks. It's like, human, time to get up, let's go. <laughs> um, so let's see what else we have. This one I wasn't happy with. I've seen this one the other day. It's like right, so it might look a bit cute from like the forefront, but I saw some of the other um, videos they had on their channel, and there's a lot of like this little dog playing with birds and cats, and I just don't really know what's going on. It's confusing me, really. The dog looks like it's 99% asleep, and they're in the middle of a road, but you know, I might be being picky, but if you do see this channel, they just have seem to have far too many animals and they make them all interact, especially the ones with birds um, had like a little parakeet or something and he just didn't look healthy whatsoever and being tortured by cats and dogs and it just if you see something that looks cute maybe think about what else could possibly be going on but yeah we'll move on oh, oh is it a yawn? oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's adorable. Bunny yawns are just too cute. Oh. Two happy bunnies. It sure looks that way. Let's see. Oh, this is a smart bunny. Ring for carrots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very cute video. Obviously, like, obviously they're not being fed that many carrots, that would be ridiculous, but I think a lot of people seem to think that carrots are somehow like a main part of a rabbit say it. I don't know why they think that because obviously it's quite perpetuated, but carrots are actually a very small part of a rabbit's diet, you know, they should be given sparingly. 
they mostly for vegetables, get like leafy greens and other things like that. I won't make a video on like appropriate treats and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, that's really cute. Very smart bunny. There's one I've seen here and I'm not going to show it because I've seen ones like that before. I don't know what the account, I don't know why it happens. They seem to be breeders again of some sort, but what they do is they take loads of little tiny, tiny, like hairless bunnies straight from the nest, put them in like big piles, pretend they're like cracking out of eggs and all this kind of stuff. It's really, really horrible. And TikTok, one thing about TikTok is no matter how much animal things you report, they just don't seem to care. Someone in like a bikini, yeah, they can be taken down straight away, but have all these little tiny rabbits in harm and every single one. No, we find nothing wrong with the video. So that's frustrating, but yeah, I just wish that wouldn't happen. Let's see, how to clean your bunny. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank god, I was worried about that one. I was thinking that's one of my fears and I'm going to see loads of videos of bunnies in bathtubs and things like that because that is just... You do not need to bath your bunny unless, I don't know, the vet specifically says that you have to wash some part of him or something. I've never heard that but I'm not a vet. But definitely do not wash your rabbit in the sink. So what they're doing, you can clean their glands and you know other people love better instructional videos than that but yeah this person's completely right do not do that um oh and he looks like my little cats you haven't met him yet but i'm getting him next week so look forward to that i'll do another video of me setting up his pen and then the video today we bring him home and just track how that goes <laughs> oh no as soon as i say that there's exactly what i feared right below, right below it Need a drink for this. Does your rabbit know how to swim? See, that's just so unnecessary. That's why I hate about TikTok. Because people, you can basically put anything up and it's, ooh, it fell. But why would you do that just for TikTok? Rabbits can swim, but only as like a last defense. Like they are prey animals. So last last resort they had to get into the water to get away from a predator or something or you know whatever other situation they have the ability like a lot of animals to swim but they should not be put in water especially when you're swimming pool I think of all the chemicals used in the swimming pool and but he's very like not great at regulating her temperature and there's a whole host of other reasons that you should not submerge your rabbit in water and it's just it's just not good it's, there's nothing else to say. I'm trying to find a nice one again. This one looks cute. People think I'm obsessed. When your bunny slowly takes over your home room. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> he looks like a little and, boss. Um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. People think I'm obsessed. That's a nice big pen. The hutch looks fully opened. It'll never be closed. He has the whole pen, and then he's probably taken over 90% of the room as well. That looks like a really nice little setup to me as far as I can see, and they look like someone that knows how to take good care of their bunny. Alright, let's see what's next. Oof, another bathing one. If people just Google things, like, I know I'm not an expert, I haven't... I'm not a vet, I'm not an animal expert, but... One Google result will tell you, do not bathe your bunny. So... And look at his fur. What that bunny needs is a good brush, not a bath. Hair dryer. See again, this says my dad baths my rabbit today. Don't worry, we bathed her from a baby, so she's used to it and doesn't mind. Just because she's used to something doesn't mean it's okay. Bunnies can't like you know they're not gonna cry. Is it like a puppy would or something if you did something they don't like? That rabbit just needs a good brush and. He'll be fine, he can clean himself. Right, we'll do a couple more. 
can see. Rabbit and dog friendship. What on earth is going on here? I just, I don't understand that video. Why, but, what? Is that a cooking pot? I don't know. And it's such a thing with like trying to introduce like a rabbit to another pet. It's like, yeah, they can get on really well and sleep together and all that kind of thing. But for me, it's just, it just seems too risky. I just, if the dog could be well minging and he could just play a bit too rough, there's been loads of instances of that happening. Uh, it's just not really worth the risk, I don't think. Just get him another bunny if you want to get him a companion. But try and find a couple more nice ones. I've seen these sort of ones before. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I got chill the is, he does not not a care in the world. <laughs> but yeah, rabbits can molt like crazy and that's why grooming can take up a lot of time. Like with most bunnies, but especially in some certain breeds. But the amount of hair that came off that bunny. It's obviously been brushed as well, but I don't know. That is a lot of fur. The bunny looks happy, doesn't look stressed. Uh, maybe that's a good life hack. Oh. <laughs> yeah, rabbits are naturally very good bur burrowers. Have you ever seen them in the wild? They're just, you know. They'll wreck someone's whole field, <laughs> just digging little burrows everywhere. But yeah, I think I've seen this account before, and they say that um, after every day plays in the garden, uh, you should always supervise your rabbits when they're playing in the garden. But they say after every day that he plays there, they fill the holes back in, and so it's just like a daily activity for him. He's not going to tunnel out of there, so yeah, that's quite cute. Oh, okay. This says the cage is temporary. Oh. Okay, well, reading the description, thankfully this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It says, don't worry, his cage was just temporary when we got him. He's completely free roam now. So that's good because I'm assuming they must have got him off like someone had to rehome him, sell him online. And I'm so glad I did, and he's a free run bunny now, that's lovely, because that looks like a wire cage, or a wire bottom cage, and he's really tiny, so yeah, props to this person, thank you for giving him a good home, and free roaming your bunny, and just letting him be a proper part, part, proper part, oh my god, for letting him be a proper part of the family. So I think that's all the TikToks we want to look at today. I think a lot of them were nice, there was definitely a lot more nice ones on there. I just want to maybe use this as more, slightly more of an educational, but there is definitely a lot more nice ones than I've shown. But unfortunately there is a lot of bad ones too. I've definitely fallen into the trap before when you see someone not looking after their pet properly and you've seen some people in the comments saying things, then the poster gets a bit defensive and they don't want to listen, they're like, no, it's fine, or the pet shop told me this. I think the best way to go about it is to try and be kind, try and be educational, provide some other resources and just try your best to educate people instead of going full in and attacking people. Everyone's on a learning curve, especially if you got information from pet shops or you don't really know what you're doing, just people will learn a lot better if you say it nicer to them. But obviously if you see straight up abuse, do what you want, call them out and that stuff, report them bring the police, <laughs> uh, anything straight up abuse, like some of the videos I saw is just out of the question, but if it is just a case of, say, housing, what they're being fed, just try to be nice, educate people, and yeah, hopefully they'll listen and you can provide a better living environment for their bunny. So that's everything for today, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up now, but Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know. I have a lot more bunny content coming. This is still a new channel, but 
I really want to work on it and help make it grow. And yeah, thank you for watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.